the African continent is a treasure trove of history, with a rich and diverse tapestry of civilizations that have risen and fallen over millennia. Beyond the more widely known empires like Egypt and Mali, Africa boasts a multitude of lesser-known yet equally significant civilizations that have left an indelible mark on the continent's history. In this exploration of Lost Empires of Africa, we delve into the forgotten realms that once flourished, showcasing their achievements, culture, and enduring legacies. 1. Kingdom of Aksum The Kingdom of Aksum was a powerful and influential civilization that existed in what is now northern Ethiopia and Eritrea from approximately 150 BC to 960 AD. The Aksumites were a Semitic people who migrated to the region from southern Arabia. They established their capital at Aksum, a city that became a major trading center between Africa, Arabia, and the Mediterranean world. The Aksumites were skilled warriors and merchants. They conquered much of the surrounding territory, including the Kingdom of Mero in Sudan. They also established a navy and controlled the Red Sea trade routes. In the 4th century AD, the Aksumites adopted Christianity. This made them the first Christian kingdom in Africa. The Aksumite kings were known as the Negus Negist or King of Kings. The kingdom of Aksum reached its peak in the 6th century AD. At this time, it was a major power in the region and controlled a vast territory. The Aksumites were known for their wealth and sophistication. They made significant contributions to architecture, art, and technology. They also played an important role in the development of Christianity in Africa. The decline of the Kingdom of Aksum began in the 7th century AD due to a number of factors, including the rise of Islam, the decline of the Roman Empire, and a series of natural disasters. The Kingdom finally collapsed in the 9th century AD, Despite its decline, the Kingdom of Aksum left a lasting legacy on the world. It was a major power in its day and made significant contributions to art, architecture, and technology. The Aksumites are also considered to be the ancestors of the modern-day Ethiopians. They built monumental obelisks. Some of which are still standing today, they developed a unique system of writing, known as Guizi, they minted their own coins, they established diplomatic relations with other powerful kingdoms. Such as the Roman Empire and the Byzantine Empire, the Kingdom of Aksum was a powerful and influential civilization that left a lasting legacy on the world. It is a reminder of the rich history and culture of Ethiopia. 2. Great Zimbabwe Great Zimbabwe is a medieval city in the southeastern hills of the modern country of Zimbabwe, near Lake Mutirik and the town of Masvingo. It is thought to have been the capital of a great kingdom during the late Iron Age, about which little is known. The ruins of Great Zimbabwe are spread over an area of 7.22 square kilometers. The most impressive feature is the Great Enclosure, a massive stone wall that is up to 11 meters, high and 250 meters long. The Great Enclosure is thought to have been a royal palace or a ceremonial center. Other features of Great Zimbabwe include the hill ruins, the valley ruins, and the Acropolis. The hill ruins are located on a hilltop and are thought to have been a religious center. The valley ruins are located in a valley and are thought to have been residential areas. The Acropolis is located at the highest point of the site and is thought to have been a military stronghold. The construction of Great Zimbabwe began in the 11th century and continued for over 300 years. The city was abandoned in the 15th century, for reasons that are not fully understood. The identity of the people who built Great Zimbabwe is also a matter of debate. The majority of scholars believe that it was built by members of the Gokamir culture, who were the ancestors of the modern Shona in Zimbabwe. However, some scholars believe that it was built by a people from the north, such as the Arabs or the Portuguese. 
Great Zimbabwe is a UNESCO World Heritage Site and is a popular tourist destination. It is a reminder of the rich history and culture of Zimbabwe. Here are some other interesting facts about Great Zimbabwe. The name, Great Zimbabwe, comes from the Shona words, Zimba Dza Mabwe, which means, Houses of Stone. The walls of Great Zimbabwe are made of granite and are held together without mortar. The city is thought to have had a population of up to 20,000 people. Great Zimbabwe was a major center for trade and commerce. The city traded with other parts of Africa, as well as with the Middle East and Europe, Great Zimbabwe was a wealthy city. The people who lived there were skilled farmers and miners. They also traded in gold, ivory, and other commodities. Great Zimbabwe was a powerful city. The people who lived there were able to defend their city from invaders. Great Zimbabwe is a fascinating and mysterious place. It is a reminder of the rich history and culture of Zimbabwe. It is also a reminder of the ingenuity and skill of the people who built it. 3. Kanembornu Empire The Kanembornu Empire was a large African state that existed from the 9th century to the 19th century. It was located in the Central Sahara region, in what is now southern Chad, northern Cameroon, northeastern Nigeria, eastern Niger, and southern Libya. The empire was founded by the Zagawa people, who were a nomadic group from the Sahara. The first capital of the empire was Njimi, located in Kanem. In the 14th century, the Bulala people conquered Kanem and forced the Zagawa to flee to Bornu, where they established a new capital at Berni Ngazurgamu. The Kanem Bornu Empire was a powerful trading state. It controlled the trade routes between North Africa and the Sub-Saharan region. The empire also traded in slaves, ivory, and other commodities. The Kanembornu Empire was a Muslim state. The first Mai, king, of Kanem converted to Islam in the 11th century. Islam played an important role in the empire's government, law, and culture. The Kanembornu Empire reached its peak in the 16th century under the rule of Mai Idris Alama. During his reign, the empire expanded its territory and became a major power in the region. The Kanembornu Empire began to decline in the 18th century due to a number of factors, including internal conflicts and the rise of the Fulani Empire. The empire was finally conquered by the French in 1900. The Kanembornu Empire was a complex and sophisticated state that played an important role in the history of Africa. It was a major trading power, a cultural center, and a military force. The empire's legacy can still be seen in the culture and traditions of the people of Chad, Cameroon, Nigeria, and Niger. Here are some of the notable achievements of the Kanembornu Empire, it was a major trading power controlling the trade routes between North Africa and the Sub-Saharan region. It was a Muslim state that played an important role in the spread of Islam in Africa. It was a powerful military force that conquered and ruled a large territory. It was a cultural center that produced a rich tradition of art, architecture, and literature. It was a long-lasting empire that survived for over 1,000 years, the Kanembornu Empire was a significant African civilization that left a lasting legacy on the continent. It is a reminder of the rich history and culture of the people of Chad, Cameroon, Nigeria, and Niger. 4. The Kingdom of Ghana, often confused with the modern country of Ghana, the historical Kingdom of Ghana thrived in West Africa between the 6th and 13th century CE. Renowned for its immense wealth, particularly in gold, the kingdom controlled key trade routes and fostered a vibrant cultural exchange between North Africa and Sub-Saharan Africa. The Kingdom of Ghana was a West African empire that existed from the 4th to the 11th centuries. It was located in what is now southeastern Mauritania and western Mali. The kingdom was founded by the Sonic people, who were a Mande-speaking group. The Kingdom of Ghana was a wealthy empire, 
due to its control of the gold trade. The kingdom was also a major center for the salt trade. Ghana's wealth and power attracted many traders and merchants from all over the world. The Kingdom of Ghana was a centralized state, with a powerful king at the head. The king was assisted by a bureaucracy of officials who were responsible for collecting taxes, administering justice, and maintaining order. The Kingdom of Ghana was a tolerant state, and it welcomed people of all faiths. The majority of the population was Muslim, but there was also a significant Christian minority, the Kingdom of Ghana reached its peak in the 8th and 9th centuries. During this time, the Kingdom was ruled by a series of powerful kings, including Osei Tutuai and Yasantua, the Kingdom of Ghana began to decline in the 11th century. This was due to a number of factors, including the rise of the Almoravids, a Muslim Berber dynasty from Morocco. The kingdom finally collapsed in the 13th century, and its territory was divided between the Mali Empire and the Songhai Empire. The Kingdom of Ghana was a significant African civilization that left a lasting legacy on the continent. It was a major center for trade and commerce, and it played an important role in the spread of Islam in Africa. The kingdom's ruins can still be seen today, and they are a reminder of its former glory. 5. Oyo Empire The Oyo Empire was a powerful Yoruba empire that existed in West Africa from the 14th to the 19th centuries. It was located in what is now southwestern Nigeria. The empire was founded by Oranmian, a legendary figure who is said to have come from the city of Ife. The Oyo Empire was a centralized state, with a powerful king at the head. The king was assisted by a bureaucracy of officials who were responsible for collecting taxes, administering justice, and maintaining order. The empire was divided into provinces, each of which was ruled by a governor. The Oyo Empire was a warrior state. Its army was made up of professional soldiers who were armed with spears bows and arrows, and guns. The army was used to protect the empire from its enemies and to expand its territory, the Oyo Empire was a major trading power. It controlled the trade routes between the interior of West Africa and the coast. The empire traded in goods such as gold, cola nuts, and slaves, the Oyo Empire reached its peak in the 17th century. During this time, the empire was ruled by a series of powerful kings, including Alifin Abiyadin and Alifin Adaba. The empire was also a major center for the arts and culture, the Oyo Empire began to decline in the 18th century. This was due to a number of factors, including internal conflicts and the rise of the Dahomey Empire. The empire finally collapsed in the 19th century, and its territory was divided between the British and the French. The Oyo Empire was a significant African civilization that left a lasting legacy on the continent. It was a major power in West Africa, and it played an important role in the development of the Yoruba people. The empire's ruins can still be seen today, and they are a reminder of its former glory. 6. Carthage Carthage was a powerful city-state located in what is now Tunisia. It was founded by the Phoenicians in the 9th century BC and became a major trading power in the Mediterranean. Carthage was a rival to Rome and the two powers fought a series of wars, known as the Punic Wars, from the 3rd to the 1st centuries BC. Carthage was eventually defeated by Rome in the Third Punic War and was destroyed in 146 BC. Carthage was a cosmopolitan city with a diverse population. The majority of the population spoke Punic, a language related to Phoenician. However, there were also many other languages spoken in Carthage, including Greek, Latin, and Egyptian. Carthage was a major center for trade and commerce. The city was located on a strategic location on the Mediterranean coast and controlled trade routes between North Africa the Mediterranean, and the Middle East.
Carthage was also a major producer of goods, such as pottery, glass, and textiles. Carthage was a wealthy and powerful city. The city had a large army and navy and was able to defend itself from its enemies. Carthage also had a strong economy and was a major center for trade and commerce. Carthage was a major cultural center. The city had a number of temples, theaters, and libraries. Carthage also produced a rich tradition of art, architecture, and literature. The destruction of Carthage was a major turning point in history. It marked the end of the Carthaginian Empire and the rise of Rome as the dominant power in the Mediterranean. The destruction of Carthage also had a lasting impact on the culture and identity of North Africa. 7. The Mali Empire The Mali Empire was a powerful West African empire that existed from the 13th to the 17th centuries. It was founded by Sundiata Keita in 1230, and it reached its peak under the rule of Mansa Musa, 1312-1337. The Mali Empire was a vast empire, stretching from the Atlantic Ocean to the Niger River and from the Sahara Desert to the forests of Guinea. The empire was centered on the city of Timbuktu, which was a major center of trade, learning, and culture. The Mali Empire was a wealthy empire. Due to its control of the gold trade, the empire also traded in salt, ivory, and other commodities. The Mali Empire was a tolerant state, and it welcomed people of all faiths. The majority of the population was Muslim, but there was also a significant Christian minority. The Mali Empire reached its peak in the 14th century under the rule of Mansa Musa. Mansa Musa was a devout Muslim who made a famous pilgrimage to Mecca in 1324. During his pilgrimage, he spent lavishly and spread the fame of Mali throughout the Muslim world. The Mali Empire began to decline in the 15th century due to a number of factors, including internal conflicts and the rise of the Songhai Empire. The empire finally collapsed in the 17th century, and its territory was divided between the Songhai Empire and the Moroccan Empire. The Mali Empire was a significant African civilization that left a lasting legacy on the continent. It was a major center for trade and commerce, and it played an important role in the spread of Islam in Africa. The empire's ruins can still be seen today, and they are a reminder of its former glory. Its ruins can still be seen today, and they are a reminder of its former glory. The Mali Empire was a significant African civilization that left a lasting legacy on the continent. It is a reminder of the rich history and culture of the people of West Africa. The lost empires of Africa stand as testaments to the continent's rich history and its pivotal role in shaping the global narrative. These civilizations, often overlooked in mainstream historical discourse, have left an indelible mark on the African continent and the world at large. By delving into the stories of these lost empires, we gain a deeper understanding of Africa's complex and diverse past, fostering a greater appreciation for the enduring legacies that continue to influence the modern world.